Is there some sense of excitement going back to Atlanta and playing in that arena where you probably watched some basketball, but now you're, you're going to play? Uh, most definitely. Um, for me, I kind of like once the schedule came out and I seen that we was going to be playing there, it's kind of like been a big anticipation for me, my family, my friends back home. Like my immediate family, they're not even on my family list. Like they so excited, they're like we want to sit near the floor. So they bought their own family seats and stuff. Like my whole family is gonna be like near the floor. It's like 15 people. What's that mean to you to know that they're as excited as you are and they're gonna have that? You know, did all that just to see you play on that court? Well, obviously my first goal is to win, but I definitely know. Got a little something extra under my, you know what I'm saying? Got a little something extra with me. I want to make them proud, you know what I'm saying? I want to play well, but most of all, we definitely going in to get another win and add to our belt and continue to improve as a team. You haven't played there before? No, I haven't. I haven't. Dreamed of it, though. Uh, how has it been trying to coach, talk about this, uh, keeping the momentum when there's not a game this week after the, the, the win and the Memphis win, but relying on practice being key? How have you kind of seen y'all just kind of keep that, that tempo and that pace? Uh, at times, he's, he's challenged us in practice like we think we're going hard or we could be going hard, but he'll challenge us and try to make it hard because he said it yesterday that he's trying to simulate games. So when we don't understand, like, why coach going so hard, that'd they, be the reason why because when you take a little time off, you know, you struggle sometimes as teams to keep your rhythm, but the good teams find ways to keep improving from game to game, practice to practice, day to day, just steadily improving and getting better. So we're trying to make sure that we keep our rhythm going to this game, prepared like we did for the last one. I know Robert meant, means a lot to you guys defensively, mm -hmm. and obviously you got the news that he's, he's, he's done for the year. Just what do you guys have to do to kind of pick up the slack? Uh, it's a tough one. Uh, for me, personally, I think I have to be a bigger voice now, take on more responsibility than I already had, you know, it's hard to make up for guys like Rob because he do so much for others. Like he he, he don't he do more than just do his assignment. Like when you make a mistake, Rob is the kind of guy that cover for you. Like he's talking, he's helping me, the younger guys. Like he helping everybody. He's a big voice and he's a big energy. Like I tell him all the time, he's like our Draymond Green. Like for the words, like he don't score a whole lot, but he do a lot more that you can't just keep up with on the stat sheet. Like his tangibles to us mean so much, and it's, that was, it was detrimental for us to lose him. But we got to find a way, like I said, like a good team would do to keep pushing and getting better as a team every day. I feel like we probably don't talk enough about Luis playing kind of one through five for you guys, especially now that Robert's going down. What does it mean to have a guy who can kind of do it all uh, in the lineup like that? It's beautiful. It just, it just shows his IQ. It shows his IQ, his, his tenacity, his will. You know, and his dedication to win. Like, it's funny you say that because the last give or take two, three days at practice, that's all he be hollering at practice. Every time he get a rebound, I'm a four man. I'm a four man. I'm like, we should like six, six, but you know, he, he doing he doing good. Like, he's doing what the team need him to do. And like, that was a big thing last game. Like, he played some four last game versus Memphis, and shots wasn't falling for him. But I kept getting his ear. I wasn't playing my best neither. But I kept getting in his ear, and I was like, you're doing everything else we need you to do. Like, you're, you're defending. You can steal. You're rebounding. Like, you're doing everything we need you to do. So he, he's a big key for us.